In this video, I'm going to show you how you can dictate directly into Tana and immediately get a response from the AI with just two keystrokes. It's a pretty magical and mind-blowing experience, and I'm going to show you how that works right now. To make this work, what I've installed on my machine on a Mac is an app called Super Whisper. And Super Whisper basically gives you a global keyboard shortcut that you hit and it runs AI transcription of what you then say. It runs through Whisper locally on your machine. So you're uh, not sending any voice data anywhere. It's all happening locally on your machine. For Windows, there's another app that is quite a bit more technical to set up, unfortunately, uh, but I haven't found uh, a simpler one. It's WhisperWrite, and you can install it for free uh, from GitHub, but unfortunately, it does require a little bit of setup and sort of technical know-how. On macOS, however, it is really easy. Let me demonstrate. So I want to write an article about Douglas Engelbart and um, also the extended mind theory. Douglas Engelbart wrote about uh, augmenting the human intellect and the extended mind theory of uh, Andy Clark is um, super powerful and sort of related to what's going on there. What should I put into an article like that? hit the shortcut once and twice, and now I have this directly translated, ready to go as text in Tana. All right, that's fantastic. Now, in Tana, of course, you can create command nodes and AI commands. And the powerful thing is that you can run these AI commands on any node that you want, and it's going to take the text and send it to OpenAI, and you get a response. So let me set that up really quickly here, and then I'm going to show you how um, quickly this dialogue can then happen. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new command node, chat with GPT, hit command K, type convert to command node, go in here, type at, and then ask AI, open the configuration, put in the prompt field here. This is the prompt that I've written. You're a GPT-4, Renaissance man, widely regarded universal genius, experience at solving complex problems across various disciplines, both wide and deep knowledge, great communicator. Please respond to the following prompt. And here we are then referring with the dollar sign and the name in the um, curly brackets to the node itself that we are running things on. Um, let me also add uh, insert output strategy and make sure that this is set to a uh, child just to um, make make sure that works and now what we can do is we can go in here put our cursor into the node we want to run this on hit command k again and then chat with gpt and it runs that command immediately on this text and gives you a lot of feedback here uh, lots of ideas to then um, talk about now let me remove this just for the sake of seeing things more clearly. Um, that's great, right? Like command K type chat with GPT, that's perfectly fast, but it goes even faster. So if we do command K here and type chat with GPT, and now I hit command shift and K, Tana is going to prompt me to record a shortcut for that specific command, for the chat with GPT command. So if I hit Command J now and click on Save, now what I can do is I can put my cursor here, I hit Command J, and it immediately runs this through GPT. The powerful thing now is I hit two shortcuts and I'm talking with AI. I hit the first shortcut here. I, I've set this to um, command slash, but you can use whatever you want in Super Whisper, of course. So um, let me do that again. Can you please explain the extended mind theory to me? Um, hit that command again, and now hit command J. It runs the AI command and we get a response explaining what the extended mind theory is right? Just like that, boom, boom. And it is, most importantly, directly in your 
note-taking tool, right? You're not thinking through, um, okay, how do I get this out of the ChatGPT interface into here or using any other app? It happens directly in Tana. Now, this is, this is really awesome um, and really quick to use, but I want to show you um, one other thing that I've found really useful. Let's say, for example, that I want to think through a blog post for a Cortex of Futura, right? And I want to uh, talk about the things that we've already mentioned, but I want to give the AI in answering that a little bit more context of who I am and what I'm after, right? So let's say I have here a node that is what Cortex Futura is about. And here I have some text. Um, Cortex Futura is for knowledge workers, people who take note-taking seriously, who want to augment their um, knowledge work through the best tools for thought, uh, such as Tana or AI um, and what have you, and use that to get more effective and also um, make a positive impact on, on uh, the human future. If I want to be able to use that as context in different instances of having discussions, right? This is what I can do. I'm going to um, create here a new super tag, AI discussion. And this super tag has a field discussion context. And I can refer to this discussion context in the command here in, in the AI prompt like this. So I have now um, extended the prompt um, here and providing the context by referring to the discussion context field, right? And that's optional, right? By pipe and question mark, we make that an optional field. Um, so we don't have to provide discussion context. And we're going to expand references of anything in that field and also send that text to OpenAI. And um, this is powerful because now we can um, even do live searches in that discussion context field and it's going to be sent to um, GPT as well. And then I'm telling it that there's no need to explicitly refer to anything that is in the discussion context. All right, so let's close this up and let me apply that tag to this uh, prompt that I wrote here, right? Um, and I can also make a shortcut for that. So I can do um, command K, add tag AI discussion, and I hit command shift K again. And now I can do command B and save this. And now it becomes really easy, right? I've dictated command B, the AI discussion super tag now gets applied. If I want, I can provide discussion context, right? So what Cortex Futura is about and his command J, and it's going to run this um, through OpenAI. And if you see here, this is now mentioning Cortex Futura, even though I told it it doesn't have to, but AI thought it was useful. Um, so it considers the discussion context here. And as you can see, impact on the future, um, it considers something that is indented here under that reference, right? So that's really powerful. We now have a workflow where it's like one shortcut um, to dictate something directly into Tana. And then we have another shortcut to run it through AI with an optional shortcut for um, a way to provide discussion context in the middle. I hope um, you found this video useful. Um, if you want to have the uh, command and the super tag, check out the template that I'm linking down below. Uh, so you can install that directly into your own Tana workspace. And if you want a super extensive second brain done for you in Tana, check out my template Tanarian brain, which is also uh, linked down below. Para, Zettelkasten, GTT, you name it, it's all in there ready to go uh, for you. And if you want to watch even more about AI in Tana, check out this video where I'm talking about how to tune your prompts for use in Tana or anywhere really with a powerful system built right into Tana. See you then. Bye-bye.